Hello everyone, I am extremely glad to see you again. Let's start to do the configuration according to this lab. Let's begin. So we take the console of switch one. First of all, we have seven different tasks to complete. First of all, we have to configure the host name of eSwitch. So we go to switch first. Go to enable mode and then we type the config T to go to a global configuration mode. So the configuration of host name, the command is host name. And according to our lab, this is our core switch one. So we give the name of core switch one. And now we go to core switch two to configure the host name. Host name is core switch two. So now I configure uh, these three access switches. Uh, go to access switch three. Go to configuration mode, host name, access switch three. Now we go to fourth switch access configuration configure the host name And now we complete the first task to configure the host name in all the, all the five switches. Now we go to we go to second task to shut down the unusual interfaces. So first of all, we have in core switch one and in the core switch, we have six different links to connect it with switches. And uh, we have these one, two, three, four, five, six uh, uh, interfaces are connected. Now we will show you how many interfaces in switch one is unused. unused. Show IP interface brief with the command of this. We can see how many interfaces are uh, unused. So first of all, interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected. 1 and 2 is connected. And 0 slash 3 is unused. And 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, they are used and one slash three are unused so we should go to ethernet so we go to configuration mode and go to interface ethernet uh, zero slash three and put this interface down with the command shutdown command so the ethernet zero slash three is now shut down so now we go to interface ethernet one slash three and do the same shutdown command to put the port down. So now we go to core switch 2 and do the same. We have same here interface Ethernet 0 slash 3 are not used. So we put the port down with the command shutdown. And we go to interface Ethernet 1 slash 3 and do the same shutdown. So we go to access switch. Here we have three different links are connected and uh, 
how many interfaces are unused show IP interface brief so here uh, in switch 3 there are four interfaces and 0 slash 3 are not connected to no, uh, neither switches nor any PC so we go to interface Ethernet 0 slash 3 put the port down with the command shutdown so now we go to access 4 and yeah here ethernet 0 slash 3 and do the command shutdown so the all uh, uh, ports are shut down so you can see here to show IP interface brief you see here Ethernet uh, administratively down and now you see the administratively uh, down of Ethernet 0 slash 3 in access layer switch 5 so we now complete the second task we go to third to configure the enable password and vty password of cisco so go to score switch and configure the enable password cisco with the command of enable password we configure the password enable cisco so we go to line vty 0 to 4 and password cisco and uh, the it's login login so we go do show history do show history here we have to copy these commands and paste like uh, here So the, we completed the third task. Now we go to fourth task to configure the VT by more transparent and domain CCNA. And we go to switch three and configure the same VTY, uh, VTP uh, mode transparent and VTP domain CCNA. So we do show history and do the same on rest of the switches. Here you see the uh, it will change to transparent and the domain name is set to CCNA on score switch 2 as well. We go to access layer switch 3 and do the same and 4 access switch do the same and 5th access switch do the same. So we have to configure these uh, VTY mode transparent and domain CCNA and we complete the fourth task. Now we go to fifth to add the VLAN 10, 20, 30 and 100 to the VLAN database. So config T and VLAN 10, 20, 30 and 100. Do show history. Copy this command to configure the core switch 2 as well. Configure the VLANs on access layer switch 3, 4, and 5. So now we verify the that uh, VLANs are added to our database or not. Show VLAN show VLAN brief. So here you see the VLAN 10, 20, 30 and 100 now are shown in our database VLAN. So now we verify here on core switch 2 as well do, do show VLAN brief. Here you 
also see the VLANs 10, 20, 30, and 100. So we complete to add the VLANs. So we go to six to configure the port between switches as trunk. In switch one, there are one, two, three, four, and five uh, ports which are connected to switches. So we configure the trunk as dot one Q. So we go to the uh, interface range. We have to give the interface range to configure ports simultaneously. At one go, we go to switch port. The command is switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q2. And then we go to switch port mode trunk. These two commands are to configure the ports as a trunk and we could do uh, the same on the rest three interfaces as well it's interface range interface range ethernet 0 1 slash 0 to 1 slash, 1 slash 0 to 2 and switch port trunk and capstation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk to show history so we can do the same uh, on we can go to copy these commands and here four two switches have the same four two switches have the same interfaces connected to the switches so we can we will configure the port switch as a trunk and we go to four switch two and paste these commands exit so we we will verify these uh, that our trunking uh, is enabled on the all the ports so show interface trunk with the command we can see here that fast 0 slash 0 is connected to switch 1 is in mode trunk status is trunking and the encapsulation is 802.1q so here all the ports are configured as trunking in sports switch 2 as well now we go to access layer switch 3 to configure the ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 as a trunk so we go to interface range uh, ethernet 0 slash 0 to 1 and do the same switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q and switch port mode trunk show history and uh, copy these commands and paste it on the another access switches here we paste it here and now we go to access layer switch 5 paste it here as well now we complete the if we uh, if you want to check uh, show interface trunk so here you see Ethernet 0 slash 0 and 0 slash 1 are in status is trunking and the encapsulation in 802.1q. So we go to, uh, we have to complete the six tasks. We go to seven tasks to configure the access port on link to PCs. So we have Ethernet 0 slash 2 is connected to PC 6 and in access layer th switch 3, we go to interface ethernet 0 slash 2 switch port mode trunk uh, it will uh, mm, oh no switch port mode access this is the command to put the port to an access link access port so create uh, go to interface on interface Ethernet 0 slash 2 switch port mode access. We go to so access layer switch 5. Interfaces switch port mode access. So we configure the access port on the link to PCs. So we have to configure all the seven different tasks according to the lab so if you like this video please hit the like button
I hope this video is informative for you. I like to thank you for viewing.